Hey everyone, we're back today here in the LEGO room. As you can see here on my BrickLink desk, I have got one of the newest LEGO art pieces. Now, I've already done lots of videos on the LEGO art pieces, especially this one in particular, early January when I bought it when they first came out, January 1st of 2021. But as you can see, this one here is the Mickey and Minnie Mouse art print, and I've got the Minnie Mouse design here. You would recall from many past videos and some past vlogs that I built the Mickey Mouse art print first. I built it up and I put it up here along with the Iron Man art print on the bulkhead here in my Lego room. They look really, really good. I'm a big fan of how these art pieces look, even when they're $150 each, like they look pretty awesome. I said way back then I was definitely gonna get another copy so I could build the Minnie Mouse and make the one big model of Mickey and Minnie combined. And it's been a few months since I said that and that's exactly what I did. Today in this video, I'm gonna be hanging up the Minnie Mouse and Mickey Mouse art print. So let's get into it. So I think the first little bit of a difference that I'm not going to do that I originally thought I was is I'm not going to actually combine these two models together. I do like how they look separately and even when I put them side by side, you can still roughly get the idea. You get what the point of it's supposed to be. So I've decided that I'm not going to be putting the Mickey and Minnie Mouse just together and make one big art print, but I'm more or less just going to hang them side by side. So to do that, first I'm going to actually move the Iron Man art piece because I don't like I think it would look fine right here if there's enough room in this side of the bulkhead for one more. Then I'll move the Mickey Mouse over and then obviously put the Minnie Mouse right beside it. So I'll just grab the Iron Man here and I'll do this on video in case I drop it. But these were not that fun to hang up the first time. But as you can see, I do have the two nails right there. Um, they did not even go on. They were just being held up by the nails. I didn't actually use the special things that Lego sent us to hang these pictures up. So I'll move the Iron Man one right here. And I'll actually lift up the Minnie Mouse, or the Mickey Mouse, I guess, and I'll hang it right over here where the Iron Man once went. So as you can see, Mickey Mouse is up there okay now. I'll move the Iron Man over, and I'll bring over Mickey Mouse here, and I'll, whoops. You know what? I think she's actually getting caught on the specialty things that you're actually supposed to to hang this art print up with. And the problem was, what happened was, I originally, like, I think I did it for Mickey, I got the nails lined up perfectly for these stupid little things, got it all hung up, then the Iron Man wouldn't fit in the same holes, and what I ended up realizing is I had the Iron Man's on different than the Mini and the Mickey Mouse one at the time, um, but since then I just never went back and fixed it. So I'm gonna put these this up here, based on just the nails, and I'll probably move it over just each one just a little bit. There we go. That looks pretty good. So that was real time. I'm sorry if this camera work was so shaky, but I really like how that looks. Wow. Okay. So I don't even, yeah, I agree. I don't think I need to connect the two together for them to still have that really good look, but very impressed with that so far, as you can see the Mickey Mouse that I built a little while ago, the Minnie Mouse here, which looks really, really awesome. That is incredible. And then of course, before I actually put this Iron Man back up, because I'm gonna have to pause the camera and actually do some hammer, I noticed that it was really interesting to see the difference in pieces for these two sets. Now, you might not care about this, but these are all the extra pieces from the Minnie Mouse build. As you can see, not a lot of red, but a ton of black. And then this is the extra pieces from the Mickey Mouse build. No black whatsoever, but so much red left over. And I guess you can really tell the difference between how much more red that Minnie used uh, and how much less black. So I just thought that was pretty cool and an interesting observation. But anyway, right now, I'm going to move over here. I've got to get the hammer and the nails and stuff like that from under this backdrop here. But I'm going to start making some holes. So it's a good thing I kept all my loose pieces in this plastic bag for when I built the Billy bookshelves way back in. Not the ones I just built in October and I added to my Lego collection, but the this whole side that I initially built in May of 2019. So really glad I kept all those pieces. That's what's in this bag here. And of course, that's what I store over here in this like mixed drawer. Uh, and those are the nails I'll be using to hang this up today. So now that I got the hammer, I'm going to go back over here and get ready to make some holes. First, I'll probably I'll set these here, of course. And I'll get some tape because I want to make sure that I properly space it out for the rest of what's up here. And that I, that I line it up. So now I'll have to go grab the chair so I can make these marks. So of course, I'll have to take this one back off just so I can get the spacing right. So I'll just set that one right up here for, right up there for now while I space this out. All right, now for the moment of truth, as you can see, I'm up here 
I will move the Mickey Mouse back out. I, I did put the two holes up here. I'll set this on. Sorry, I can't even like zoom out anymore because I'm literally on the ladder. But there we go. There we go. That's pretty straight on there, I think. And I'm I'm gonna smooth down a tile that I noticed was off here. All right, now I'll take the Iron Man. We'll get it up here as well. I think I put the nails a little low for Iron Man. I should move them up a little. Yeah, yeah, I probably will uh, tilt them up a little, but that's pretty good positioning. It's not that bad. So I'll just grab the nail hammer and push them up just a little bit more to have it on an angle. But I think that's going to look good. All right, there we go. I fixed the nails a little. And look at that. My Lego art print collection is complete and so beautifully hung up on display. I'm honestly a really big fan about how this looks. I think these three art pieces look really great side by side together. I am so excited to find out what Lego will be making next because I've got more room for another piece right there. And then of course, even more past the vents. So it's gonna look really awesome. I cannot wait to get some more Lego art pieces. However, in the meantime, I think those three look really, really good on display here in my Lego room. Again, you can see the white space. I don't like white space in my Lego room, but when I move back here, they look absolutely incredible. And I don't regret not putting the Mickey and Minnie Mouse together because I think they look really good separate as well. I like the little gap in between and it just lines them up quite nicely with the Iron Man. But anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. I really did hope you enjoy. You'll have to let me know down in the comments below what you think of these Lego art pieces. And of course, let me know down in the comments below where you store your Lego art pieces. I've seen some people doing some really cool and unique examples and things like that of just kind of how they store them in their Lego room, how they make them work. Eventually, I'd love to have these hung up in like my house someday my living room whatever it may be but for now these look incredible here in my lego room especially on my bulkhead i know i was so against making any holes in this lego room for the first few years i leased this space um but now i'm really glad that i have so thanks everybody so much for watching if you did enjoy this video please don't forget to leave a like comment and of course subscribe and i'm looking forward to seeing you in the next video